Hello, our dear students. We are now on quarter three, and I am happy to be with you again. I hope that you still remember my name. Once again, I am Teacher Granny, your teacher broadcaster in Music 8, Module 2, who will guide you to learn the music of South Asia and the Middle East. To know more about the topic, we must also learn about our target learning competency that needs to be achieved at the end of this lesson, which is explore ways of producing sounds on a variety of sources that would simulate instruments being studied. For you to be guided with a lesson of the music of South Asia and the Middle East, here are the objectives. 1. Create at least two improvised instruments of Israel. And 2. Play your improvised instruments using Zoom Gali Gali. Are you ready to know more about the music of South Asia and the Middle East? Let's get started. Have you played a game, Spot the Difference? Hmm, I think you know how to play it. Am I right? So what are we waiting for? Let us try this activity. Look at the two pictures and encircle the differences. You have a minute to finish it. is up. Let us now check your work. Have you encircled all of this? Excellent! Now, let me ask you some questions. Are you familiar with the things that you encircled and identified? Tell the reason why you have come up with your answer. Another is, what do this familiar thing have in common? In order for us to deepen our answer, let us study and discuss this topic. Music of South Asia and the Middle East. In ancient times, musical instruments have been part of the heritage of the people of Israel. The Bible mentions dozens of musical instruments such as trumpet-like, recorders, clay rattles, seashells, bells, and cymbals. Whistles were being listed and has been found in statuettes and clay figurines of musicians, drummers, and professional mourners all of which goes to prove that music and song occupied an important place in ancient Israel. Chordophones are some of the most popular instrument of Israel. It has five types, which are bows, harps, lutes, lyres, and zithers. Aerophones, Membranophones and percussion instruments were also played in their special ceremonies and events. Among these instruments are the following. For the aerophone instrument, a horn of a ram and other animal-made ritual, musical instrument which is used during an important religious event. In biblical times, it was sounded during the Sabbath, announcing of the new moon and proclamation of the anointing of a new king. The percussion instrument, much either in a frame of a drum or a modern tambourine. Known as the top of the ancient Hebrews, known to be the principal percussion instrument of the ancient Israelites. With regards to their membranophone instrument, an hourglass-shaped drum wherein the drum head or skin 
is stretched tight with rope or leather thongs or even nails. The body may be made of copper, ceramic, pottery or wood. Sometimes called a dumbbell, tabla or goblet drum. As to their chordophone instrument, an ancient Israelite musical instrument is the Yoke Lutz family, which was the first to be mentioned in the Old Testament. It was described in the Bible made from a sheep, small intestine, as having ten strings and played with a plectrum. Now that you know the different musical instruments of Israel, I am expecting that you have the idea on how to play it. Always remember that we can identify the ways of producing its sounds based on its classification. Now, let us accompany your body music like clapping, tapping, stomping, and others as an improvised percussion as you sing the Israeli version of Zoom Gali Gali song. You may use the given link to familiarize the song. Let us sing first the song in order to recognize the beat or the tempo. Are you ready? You may sing with me. In three, two, one. Zum gali 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 zum gali gali 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 Now let us do it all together by applying your body music Ready Let's have it with clapping your hands while singing Let us do it in two ways First is this Zum gali 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 zum gali gali I only applied the first part of the song The second way is with variation of clapping Let's perform it Zum gali 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 zum gali gali Did you appreciate the beauty of the song? Perfect! Very good, our dear students! I think we are now ready for our performance task. This activity entitled, Search and Sound. You need to have this materials. Recyclable, indigenous or any items that produce a sound found at home. What are you going to do? First, create at least two improvised Israeli instruments. Second, choose among the given examples or you can search for more options. Third, make sure that your improvised instrument sounds like your chosen Israeli instrument. Four, Record the sound of your improvised instruments and submit to your teacher. I know that you are very much excited to do it. So good luck and have fun while exploring ways on producing sounds that will serve as our music accompaniment. To recap everything, always remember that musical instruments of Israel are mostly performed during their religious activities. Aerophones, membranophones, percussion, and chordophone instruments are at style. Two, there are many ways to imitate an Israeli musical instrument since it produces common sound. On the side on how it is made up, Resources or materials can also be found at home. 
South Asia and Middle East has a unique perspective on its culture and tradition which relates to the distinct characteristic of its music and musical instruments. This expresses that using our creative minds, we can make our own music as well as musical instruments. We can use our own resources to show our skills and amazing talents. I hope that you enjoyed our lesson and I am grateful for your cooperation and active participation in all the activities. Again, I am Teacher Grelly, your teacher broadcaster, saying goodbye.